For example, I'm going to give you. Uh, uh, let's 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 one example over here. This is one day kinematics. Today we are doing one day kinematics. So battery is at x one. Battery is at I don't know ten meter. It should be it should be black. I should I should be using uh, the dark. Uh, that's the default color. And x two he is at thirty meter. I want you to find the distance. I want to find the displacement. I want you to find the vector. Okay. So the distance would be what? The distance would be the total path travel. So the distance is total path. That's the distance. That's the distance. Um, that's the distance. Uh, the 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 definition of distance. Total path travel. So what is the total path travel? Total path from 10 meter to 30 meter. So 20 meter. So the distance is 20 meter. The displacement, displacement is df minus di. So df is 30 meter minus di is 10 meter. So is 20 meter, 20 meter to the east. So the vector that represent this would be all right. So the vector would be this is 20 meter and this is the red part, red part telling us the east. Okay, let's consider another example in which I'm going to show you that it doesn't always have to be um, to the east. It can be west. It can be negative. So this is an example uh, x meter. So you have x one, which is uh, which is thirty meter, and x two, which is ten meter. I wanted to find distance. I wanted to find displacement. I wanted to find vector. All right, so the distance, the total path travel is still the total path travel between these two points is 20 meter, and the displacement is df minus di all the time. So displacement, displacement is df minus di. So what is the df? Df is 10, and di is 30. So is negative 20 meter. So what is negative 20 meter look like? Negative means Negative means negative means arrow is to the this way arrow is to the west and 20 is the magnitude so this is the 20 okay so the negative means this negative means west and this arrow means 20 okay now I'm gonna get to show you I'm gonna show you the speed versus speed versus velocity when we talk about the speed versus velocity We talk about speed is a scalar and velocity is a vector because the speed gives you one information and velocity gives you two info. So velocity gives you two, one, two info and speed gives you one info. Okay, now with that understanding, let's go back to the problem I I show you a few time few seconds ago, and that is problem is like that meter. So the problem is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, Barry moves to the 70 meter and then he turns around and he stops right here. What I want you to find is the speed and I want you to find the velocity. And I also want you to find the vector. All right, so the speed, let's do the speed over here. The speed for this problem, the speed is total path travel versus divide by elapsed time. So total path travel would be what? Total path travel would be red plus uh, blue. And elapsed time would be, let's give you some elapsed time, let's say 70 seconds. So elapsed time is, elapsed time is 70 seconds. All right, so 70 second. So then 100 meter over 70 second. So it's 1.4 meter per second. This is your speed. Now let's find the velocity. Let's see how the velocity look like. Velocity is df minus di tf minus ti. Now what is the df? 
the df is of course we know that the displacement and we know the arrow this arrow this arrow is 40 meter we know that the displacement is 40 because we calculated in the morning and uh, elapsed time is 70 second so this is 0.57 meter per second but this is not a correct answer because we have to say whether it is east or west so this is east now i'm going to draw the vector that show the east i'm going to write east to the red so i will put the arrow to represent the the direction and i'm going to put the magnitude by drawing the arrow so this is an example where speed and velocity you see the example now i'm going to talk about acceleration <coughs> 